Thank you. God bless you. We're still in the message of avenues of divine refreshment. And the Lord bless you. I remember we still want to bless your life tremendously. God, I, I sense a list of, of anointing to release now. Um, I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo in Nairobi, Apostolic Faith Church. I serve Christ with all my heart. And we have this project. It's for all people. It doesn't matter your church. This one is a project of all God's children. 10,000 seat church in Nairobi. Kagudoro, just after you exit, exit outer ring. We are buying it at 340 million Kenyan shillings, which is slightly more than 3 million US dollars. And God has seen us. We moved for one year, but we want this year to clear that loan. I pray now you register and you start. Connect yourself with our, with our, with our bank account. Let's continue. I want to tell the truth. Miracles are happening. All right. Somebody called me and said, Bishop, the way God is blessing us, we can't comprehend this. I said, how? Since we connected with that project. Please connect yourself. Make a donation daily. If you are able to come on 11th February this year, right there, that is Kagudo Road, if you go there opposite Toto, opposite Komalak Junction, what used to be double M, come there. 11th February, come holding your donation. I'm going to pray for you and we want to give a lot. And we'll do that three times this year. Let's clear. Let, what I always tell people is no actually what you have. The moment I pray for you, you get more. The moment you, you believe in what I'm saying, God will make way for you. So don't judge your level with what you have because I know my God will raise you to the standard of his work. God bless you so much. You get the details. God bless you. Uh, now, we are sharing on avenues of divine refreshment. One thing we need to do is give God space to speak. God requires space to speak. Most people are so much occupied, moving like molecules. Your mind is staggered all over. Can you give God space? Be still on your knees. Let God speak to you. Another thing, give God a space to, uh, to, to, to lead you into discernment. Discernment is capacity to see through. That you are able to see through clearly because you allowed your heart and your mind to be illuminated, anointed, led by the Holy Spirit. Give God half chance to submit. Command your body. Command your feelings. Command your mind to submit to the living God. Don't allow disobedience and liberiousness. Another thing, give allowance for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Pastors, bishops, give allowance to the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit Ha, receive a space to operate through us in the gifts, gifts of discernment, gift of healing, gift of word of knowledge, gift of miracles. They exist. We do not just speak in tongues. Let's give allowance for the gifts of the Holy Ghost to operate. Another thing is give a space of honoring God. Wherever you are working, even if you own a business, outdoor business, transport business, you have a family, in the name of Jesus, let in those areas, let God get a space for his honor. Yes, that's your business. Command your workers. No, no, no. In this business, there's a space to honor God. That you create a space also for avenues of refreshment from God. Another thing is surrender 
to God's action. There are times you surrender to God and let God now act. God requires a space to act. If you read 2 Chronicles chapter 20, in the battle between Judah, Jehoshaphat, and the, and the enemies, they gave God space to speak and to act, and God fought the battle. Sometimes you cry and say, no, God, is, why not? Yes, God requires his space. And thing is, block all other avenues. Leave one avenue clear. Let God know the avenue of his intervention. The avenue of his wisdom is open. Stop all the noises. Yes. Pray and pray until the noise or the noises in your hands, in your mind, the noises in your heart, stop. And now you have chance to hear God speak. It's important to discipline your emotions and your senses. In most cases, people who follow this system, whereby you say, be yourself, say anything, no, 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 you end up in poverty, you end up in tra transgressing the law, you end up in failure. Please discipline your emotions and senses. Sometimes people, you are, you, 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 your eyes want to say any dirty things in the YouTube. You are just want to hear any, any evil. Can you, can you discipline the cravings that you experience in your emotions and your senses? Let it be known there's a command of the Holy Ghost. There's a save. Because you not allow all, all things to get to you, whatever. Refuse. Another thing is, refuse the options offered by the devil. Refuse. Rebuke him. In your feelings, in your body, in your life. Stop the lust of the flesh. Stop the lust of your eyes. Stop the pride that's rising in you. Another thing is, consecrate yourself for prophecy. Whenever God has released your word, don't just leave it. When God says, I'll bless you, I will raise you, consecrate yourself for that prophecy. Tell God, God, when you said you want to raise me, Lord, what did you mean? Consecrate yourself for the word of prophecy that God gave about you. Keep, how do you do it? One, uphold that word daily. Two, never speak against that word. Three, let your mind be set to see that word active and performed by God. And number four, remain holy and righteous for prophecy can only be fulfilled in a condition conducive for it. Another thing is, you need to know something. You need to know the timing of God. There's time for operation, time for warfare. You know, there are times we need to start operating. You've rested enough. You've been. There are times now God wants to see an operation business wise in marriage in raising something God is not a matter of now waiting God want to see the real real things start and working real operation if it is warfare it's time now for real uh, combat I have to face evil I have to face this enemy I have to face this devil I have to now Come to, inter to be in terms with the reality of battle that must be won so that we can stop slavery and subdue our enemies. Aha. Now, it is import it's important if, you, if your life has no direction, can you be open to God and wait for Rema word or prophecy, your prophecy. In life, there's, there's word that God speaks specifically to you, not to neighbors or, or your wife or your husband, that you determine your seasons, that you command things wherever you go. It's like Joseph. Joseph saw a vision. 
other people bound to him. But his brothers sold him to be a slave. If you read Genesis chapter 39, you see the process. When he was sold to, uh, to Potiphar and he was put in charge, you know, he was a slave. But what the Bible said that God was with Joseph and he was a successful man. And whatever he laid his hand on, it succeeded, it prospered. And that's very important. That word followed Joseph. They put him in prison. The prison officer in charge eh, retires and gives Joseph his possession. They take him to Pharaoh, Pharaoh get away and give Joseph the seat, the kingdom, to make him in charge, the, the CEO of the country. And that's why it's good to know a specific life-giving word, Rema word, we call that Rema word from God, that you command and determine your seasons. That you help you a lot in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, it's good to know the visitation of angels, visitation of God. Sometimes you need to understand there are times there is divine visitation. Where God comes for several purposes. One, power to wage war. Or, he comes to give you possession of authority. Uh -huh. Or, to restore you to the path of blessings. Or, to release you to the season that he has for you now. There's time God visits you. There's visitation by God. Be awake. Don't ignore it. Just as Moses turned aside to check the burning bush. Turn aside to check what kind of visitation is this. When the angel visited Mary, Mary turned out, oh, what kind of visitation is this? Very important to be attentive. God will check on whether you are awake for his message. So that he can give you power to wage war. Give you possession of authority. Don't be a slave again. Restore you to the path of blessing. Or release your season that he has kept for you. That is very important. Sometimes when God wants to release a season of refreshment. Give Holy Spirit chance to analyze you. And give you his results. There are times the Holy Spirit will just analyze you. I have always known for you to become as servant of God and excel and pass the test. Sometimes the Holy Ghost just analyzes you and gives you results. He shows you this is why you are dark. This is why you are clear. This is why you are misunderstood. This is where you fail. So that when you know that, you can align yourself immediately with God's will and then you move very fast. So let the Holy Ghost analyze you and give you the results. Another thing is empowerment. Now, mm -hmm. there are times God wants to empower us so that he can drain weakness and wickedness. There are areas God wants to drain in us, weakness and wickedness. I want to drain this, drain this, remove this, remove this until this person now is pure so that God can put his weapons, his weapons, his weapons and train you and use you power free. Mm -hmm. God wants to remove you from seeking salt to solid rock. God wants to change, to bring a change of character from low to high, slavery to dominion. Change of character raises us from low to high, raises us from slavery to dominion. That's a very important. And God will bless you. God will help us now. And Brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord, time has come and this is the message. Let God, God want to have avenues for divine refreshment. I sense there is a renewal, a refreshing power coming on me, coming on you. God wants to raise us in strength, in praises, in worship, in, I tell you, the world requires an intervention from elsewhere, from God. People are so much used to how the systems are going 
And however wise people are or educated, they just study what exists. They said they cannot create matter. They can only change it from one form to another. But God wants to intervene and bring a renewal, bring another meaning, bring, bring sense in life. Let show people that he exists. And I'm known this, and that's why I'm saying, be open in all ways from today. For God, you come in and bring a renewal, a refreshment, and there will be new glorious praises in our lives. And you are never going to be the same. And right now, in the name of the Lord, Lord, I pray for my sister, my brother, that now, now, that he come out of oppression, come out of satanism, come out of witchcraft, come out of fear, come out of pain, come out of oppression, and receive new anointing, receive change, receive your healing. In Christ we pray. Amen.